Today, I want to share with you what it's like to farm an end-game, randomly generated zone in Starfield. I am a level 15 character on a level 75 planet. Here it is. I'm going to zoom in out a bit. You can see here, this is a level 75 planet. If I zoom out even more, I'm at the very right of the solar system, level 75. You start the game all the way here on the left, by the way. Also, I just want to mention my character. It's only level 15. I have the advanced mag share. I have a guide in the description that teaches you how to get this super powerful weapon at the very start of the game, as well as the mantis suit for really good perks. It's not a bad armor, level 15. My, um, I have no combat abilities, by the way. I have uh, nothing in combats, right? And I will be able to farm this zone. I do have weightlifting and wellness though, so that helps a little bit. But um, one thing before we start, we're going to change the difficulty to very hard. There's a few reasons why you'd want to change the difficulty in this game. If you're just farming experience points, you would want to put it on very easy. Because when it's on very easy, the enemies die quickly, and they give the same amount of experience points. So you can save ammo and save time. But if you play on very hard mode, then the enemies have a higher chance to drop a better loot and the enemy bosses have a higher chance to drop better loot. Let us uh, let me show you how, just uh, how much experience these things give. Only like 20 something. There's normally like level 70 ones and stuff. Well, 50 on that one. And it seems to be ignoring me, weird. Oh, we got a, a little sneaky boy there. It's level 55. Here we go, just take him down. So here's the thing, right? At first everyone was like, oh, farming aliens is really good. Like, like look at this one, level 80, right? Swarming cockroach, oh boy. And it gives 130 experience. That doesn't sound bad, but the aliens don't drop any good loot. They just drop raw materials for crafting, and you could farm that automatically with outposts. It's not a big deal. They take a lot of ammo because they're ammo sponges, they're tanks. But they don't drop any good guns or, or, or armor, so they're pointless to farm. What you want to do is go to these humanoid buildings. You want to open your scanner and check out the points of interest around wherever you randomly land. Try to find a human building, like uh, we got lucky here in those one abandoned research facility. And I'm not going to be a loot hog, alright? I'm not going to constantly loot everything and check every nuke and crevice, because that's a waste of time. The best way to farm these zones, kill all the humanoids, kill the boss, loot the boss. Also, this elevator, uh, like this, the, this outpost, it's copy pasted. I've been through a million of these. There's always chests down here, you want to check them. A super cold magnet, uh, nothing good. Sometimes there's good stuff, but not today. We have to take the stairs. So uh, I'm going to beeline it for the boss. The boss is usually in the center of the facility. And uh, we could save scum it and check his loot, which I might do. You know, just for you guys, and just until we get something really, really good. But uh, we got to take out some of these guys here. And oh, grenade, run away. That one was <laughs> blew up. All right, cool. Let's see, any good loot? Ooh, first legendary elemental boosted advanced breach. Oh man, look, look at the damage. Holy crap, that is boy, oh boy. I gotta I gotta try that out. That's a, that's a nasty, nasty drop. I'm gonna save. I'm saving that. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's. Oh yeah, let's put that. I want to try that. That looks sick. That is a badass weapon. Look at this. Now this is a legendary weapon right here. Level 14. <laughs> One shotted. Oh no, he's stuck in the wall. <laughs> Give me those shotgun shells. I'm gonna need more of those. Oh man, this is brutal. This is okay. Level 48. <laughs> oh dude. Oh man. How far away can I hit you with this? I mean, it is a shotgun, so... Well, kinda. I'm kinda hitting. If I had, you know, some combat perks... Whoa, now. Don't look at me. You're you're only level 8. You get out of here. This is for big boys. Okay, there's a boss right there. That is a boss monster. Spacer Myth. And I want to try out this weapon on the boss. Also, the boss can really shred your health. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep myself topped off. I am bad. I'm missing every hit. Okay, this does, it's not a high DPS weapon. It's good for like clearing maybe trash mobs, but against a boss like this, it's real, it's like barely hitting. I mean, I can try to get a headshot in or something. Oh, 
Don't melee me. Look how much look how much I'm getting chunked. In just a few hits takes like all my health. Really don't want to die here, but um Yeah. That, okay, we gotta swap to a high DPS weapon. There we go. Look at the damage this thing does. Alright, so what we want to do is get this to low health and then do a quick save. So I wanna I wanna kill everything else in the room, if if there is anything else. Okay, get it. Oh nope, no. did we kill it? I think we killed it. No, he's still alive. Still alive. Save, quick save. There we go. And finish him off. Oh, he's he's just wounded. He's knocked down. We're just gonna fill his butt full of lead here. Okay, there we go. He's a tanky boy. What we get? Space Ed Advanced Bridger. Well, that sucks. Let's try again. All right. <laughs> we'll continue to pound that ass until it gives us something good. Too much. Get Too much. <laughs> you will not. Here, let's uh, reload. That way it's uh, a little bit faster. Now, there we go. What you got? Oh, Hauler's Advanced Tracking Alliance Power Pack Epic. It's actually worse stats than the Mantis stuff, so eh, I don't think I want that either. But you sit here and you re-roll it until we get a really good legendary. Oh, man. And you know, now that he's on the ground, I could actually test out the shotgun a bit better. But um, nah, we'll, just, we'll just keep... Machine gunning them down and analyzers navigator space helmet. Still not that good. You know, again, it's completely random. Is he holding his butt? <laughs> he died holding his butt. All right, but yeah, this is how you farm in-game items right here. This is the level 94. If we open the difficulty settings, it should still be very hard. Yes, it is. There it is. And uh, you know, you can use other weapons. You know, we could. You know, probe them with electricity if you want, you know, just... <laughs> okay, we're being mean here. It's just to, uh, you know, take them out. We've suffered enough. Oh, that's not good. I'm not even going to look at the stats on that one. But, uh, yeah, this is how you do it. This is how you farm in-game items. Eventually, you'll get a legendary advanced boosted turbo epic something or other. Nope. Okay. <laughs> just keep on keeping on. You know what, let's try out that shotgun again. Now that he uh, can't fight back or dodge. Boy, this is a bad, this is a mean machine right here. All right, headshots. Wow, I still missed, even though he's point blank. Oh, I'm so bad. 427 on the crit. Auto medic calibrated navigator spacesuit. It's still worse than what I'm wearing. Uh, yeah, so, ugh. Come on, hopefully he doesn't have a bad loot table or something. <laughs> you never really know with these things. But, you know, this is as hard as the game gets. It doesn't really get any harder than this. And I'm just a level 15 character with no specializations. So, uh... Anyway, I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep... Oh, there's level 70 over here. Now, uh, how about I show you a normal gun? Just to show you, like... A normal gun that you're not gonna get, like, like that you would normally get playing the early part of the game here. Here we go. This is like one of the earliest uh, legendaries you can get is this pistol. This 44 damage pistol. We're gonna shoot this level 70 if he doesn't r stop running away. Like, look how little damage I do. It's, it's awful. But it's, it's okay, you know, it's not bad. Just hit him with a Grindle. There you go. Maybe he might drop something good. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna load game one more time while I do the outro. I ho hopefully you enjoyed this, like, once you find the boss in these areas, there's not going to be another one. So I don't need to explore the rest of the station. I'll even show you. I'll kill him real quick. I'll show you. And, uh, ugh, come on, dude. Drop something better. It's graceful. And you too, level 70 guy. <laughs> you too. Doesn't drop anything. All right. Run through. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This, this is the correct path, I believe. I've actually gotten a little, little twisty turned up. I don't remember the, the correct path anymore. Is it through here? Vent? Maybe. Oh, uh, now I'm really lost. Yeah, it's the locked door. Go in here. Look at these dudes. They just... Oh! There's... If they have multiple health bars, they're they're not exactly a boss. They're like, like a rare mob. And yeah, I got chunked there. I got chunked pretty hard. Uh, you have to strafe. You have to constantly strafe. Don't just stand there and try to tank the shots. It won't work. All right. Well, we're back again with another <laughs> epic looting. Wow. Okay. Cool. Anyway, guys, uh, what do you think of the end game in Star Citizen? Do you think it's it's worth 
grinding to get here? Do you think that I'm laming the game out by getting some of the strongest weapons early on? What's your opinions? And hey, isn't this the elevator? Oh yeah, it's a stairway. That's normally not there, but um... <laughs> like, these are locked doors. That's a locked door. Yeah, so we farm that. That's the boss. And... Oh, explosions. Yeah, this is where the, the mini boss was, right? Yeah. Can I not stand in that? Dang! That's shredding. Here, let's triple heal. A little bit of distance. I want to see what the mini boss drops. Anything, like I said, with multiple health bars, they're like a rare mob. They're not a boss mob. But they're still eight shots. Can I do it? Nope. Okay. Gotta be always be strafing. There we go. Whoa, his weapon went flying. Modified caliber Equinox, that's it. Got nothing, nothing. We got another mob alive somewhere over there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, I just wanted to show off a high level zone using a low level character. It's uh, definitely doable, and you don't have to be a high level. When you're a higher level, you'll have so much more health anyway. You won't be dying so much, but always crank it back down to very easy mode. And, uh, you know, you do whatever you want. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I read every comment because I have no life. And uh, I'm going to keep save scumming until I get something good from this guy. With that said, I upload constantly when I have energy for it. I'm not sick, so... Uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Let me know what you want to learn. And hopefully it's more exciting than farming high-level mobs. Thank you so much. I'll see you. Oh, on the, on the right side of your screen, this video, you should absolutely click. If you don't click it, you'll never see a legendary in this game ever again. Ooh, a demoralizing advanced pacifier. Look at that. That's not as good as the other shotgun, but maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, let's play with it. You got, you got to play with your guns. I thought I was ending the video, but now we have a new toy to play with. Buckle up, buckaroos. <laughs> we got a mean boy shotgun. Eh, I don't know about that one. I mean, it caught him on fire, I guess, but it's still, it doesn't feel strong. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Click that video on the right side.